How to get these film tear effects using our After Effects template. Check it out. What is up? Tyler Casey here with Cinepacks, and we actually just made a new template pack for After Effects. It's super easy to use. It works solely in After Effects, but you get these really unique film tears like I'm showing right now. These work good on music video clips. These can work really good as like an overlay on top of your video. And these also look really cool on titles. So there's plenty of ways to customize these. So I'm gonna show you how easy this After Effects template is to use. It only works in After Effects right now, unfortunately. So if you wanna get the pack, it's down there in the link below. We have plenty of other free packs. Unfortunately, this is not a free sample pack. If you guys like this effect though, definitely get the pack. Easy to use, great tool to add to your arsenal as an editor. So I'm gonna hop into After Effects. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's do it. All right, so once you have the template, this is what it's gonna come with. You basically just have to unzip it and then you're gonna have an After Effects template right there. We do include a quick start guide and there is another video on how to use this pack. I'm basically gonna walk you through that right now. So after you watch this, you'll know how to use it. Um, and what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna wanna open up this template right here. Jesse, who we worked with on this pack, recommends duplicating each of your sequences. Um, I also like to save it. I like to go save as, and I like to save it. So I have, if I mess anything up, I still have the original template. So I'm gonna name this film tear template underscore um tutorial because i'm making the tutorial you can name it whatever you want i'm still going to duplicate them though um and then so you so basically what you can do is you just so basically you can just open up the template and then this is what it looks like it works really good with titles so i'm going to go ahead and here's the place holder this is where you put your footage or title I want to do a title, I would just click right here and let's just say, um, I write Cinepax, really big. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that right there and let's make it big. And let me see if I can move it right there. And I'm going to turn off the placeholder and let me also add a black solid underneath. Boom. Cool. So you can see we have the effect already, but there's a few ways that we can customize this effect. One way I like to change the color of the scratches is just throw on tint to that top layer and you can select any color you want. We can change it to red, um, maybe some blue would look cool here. And of course we can throw on a glow, let's throw on good old deep glow. And just like that, we have some crazy effects. But if we wanna hype up this effect a little bit more, we can actually come over to the, the, right, we can come over to this layer right here, place footage below this layer, and you can actually increase the blur. So if we want the blurriness a little bit higher, and you can also play around with the offset. So we can play around with how much the image is actually going to be offset. So let's just say I want a little bit more subtle, but I want it a lot more blurry. Let's go ahead and play that and see what kind of difference it makes. So you can see we're almost getting like that out of focus effect right there, which looks really good. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this on some footage. I totally did not duplicate the composition. So here we go. So here we have a clip from Cole Bennett's music video with Lil Yachty. And you can definitely see it gives a very film type effect. Um, like the film is tearing and we can definitely play with that a lot more. So let's go ahead and play around with the blur. Let's increase the blur a little bit. Um, so you can see the effect is a little more displaced. And of course we can play around with these right here um, if we want them a little more displaced. So another cool thing that we can do is we can actually change the blending mode of the scratch overlay. So if I come over here and I go to blending mode, if I come over here and go to blending mode, I can totally change the color. I can change it to difference and then it's gonna change the effect of the scratches on the screen. So you can see it definitely has a more unique look. It definitely looks really cool and it's affecting the sides a lot more. I really like how this one looks. Another cool thing we can do, of course, is we can change it back to screen, but I can also, let's drag on tint and let's drag on HLS. If we drag both those on, let's take the tint to red real quick and then I will animate the hue, which 
just to like here, we'll spin it around a few times. And now we have like an RGB effect on this, which I think is another cool bonus. Obviously you could throw the glow on there as well. If we throw deep glow on, we can see it changes the effect quite a bit. Um, kind of gives it a more stylized look. So there's lots of ways you can customize this effect and there's tons of presets in here. There's a lot of really cool ones. Um, those are just a few of them. If you guys want to check out this pack, it's down there in the link in the bio. I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to show you something a little bit different. It's an After Effects only pack. We do have a couple of really cool packs on the way here pretty soon. Um, I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.